He had a lot to say about immigration yesterday. It's reported that during a meeting where immigrants from Haiti discussed, he asked, why do we want all these people coming here? And he added that we should get more people from countries like Norway or more Asians who would help out the economy. Uh-huh. Look, uh-huh. I'm you know, out. people were people were <laughs> discussing it a lot last night. And Tucker Carlson had a whole thing. He was trying to explain it. And I his explanation would have held some water for me had the rest of the commentary not been but we need more people from well, what Norway. Did, what did Tucker say? Tucker was saying, well, you know, people come from rough countries and they're coming here and they're, you know, they're com- and he said that's what everybody was concerned about. That's what everybody's concerned about. I said, okay, I'm fine with that. I, I could understand. Yeah. yeah, some folks come from rough countries. Uh-huh. Not that anybody, ca- not that anybody cared when we saw families trying to flee from Syria, but I- I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. What I cannot abide and where I feel <laughs> it was over for me was when you then add on we need more people from Norway because basically to me that's like saying well we don't want y'all brown people because you're not doing anything yeah. for the country well, we want people from Norway and sir just so you know mm-hmm. they don't want you to be their president they, they're not coming here for that. That's no. not why folks from Norway no, they, are coming here. No, they don't here. have to come here. They have free health care. They have sane gun laws there. They have child care. They have free education. Why they would they come Jordan. here uh, to this country? People come here because they're trying to improve their lives, not make it worse. Isn't today an anniversary of Haiti? Yes. It's it's the it's but you know, you know, the other thing is that it's just every, country, every group that's come here has come from a country for a reason. Like I just said, they're not coming from, you know, Sweden either, you'll know. Um, my family came from Italy. Here is not because Italy is calls it, and everybody who's been there knows Italy is not on is anywhere near that. Mm-hmm. But my family came here because they couldn't find work in Italy, in southern Italy. If you go to the north, if you go to Florence, if you go to Milan, people are doing much better up there. But if you were from my part of Italy, my family, they had no jobs. That's why they came. That's why people come from Haiti, why they come from Nicaragua, why they come from Asia. But they can't find well, work. Can I, I, I jump to... in on this really quick? Mm-hmm. People also come here and serve. And I want to show a picture of a lieutenant cadet from West Point named <coughs> Alex Edrache crying mm-hmm. at his graduation in May of 2016. Of all the stories that I talk about with my family, right. the ones that have really resonated with me the most are the ones of the immigrants who come to this country and serve our military overseas, mm-hmm. fighting for our freedom in order to gain citizenship here. My father tells stories about helping people re-enlist when you're actually over in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is someone straight from Haiti, graduated from West Point, harder to get into West Point than Harvard, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just telling you that when we're talking about immigration, many people also come here and serve when our citizens who were born yes. here mm-hmm. don't necessarily do so yeah. either. A lot of people and come here from Haiti sure is. that do really well, like my husband's family, because my, I, I took this so personally. Um, you know, I, I spent the holidays in, in, in Haiti because my, fa- my father-in-law, my husband's father, was born and raised there. And he came here and raised a family, including two, two doctors and an engineer. Mm-hmm. And, and he does so much, not only for this country, but also for his home country of Haiti. For this president to say that that country, I felt like he was talking about my father-in-law, like he was talking about my husband, like he was talking about my Haitian children. And I am so offended. And talking about the holidays. And talking about our people on our staff. And I spend a lot of time in Haiti, and it is a beautiful country filled with strong... I just came back from there because our family is built has a hotel and we're also building a learning center and a medical center for the people of Haiti Um, and and I have to say you know I have said repeatedly I can't look into Donald Trump's heart I can't say that he is a racist did you know him before yes I can say now Donald Trump is a racist. yes absolutely I can say that now I can say that But I can say that now. Did you get a oh, racial time, kick some... from him? Well, mm-hmm. let's face it. Since 1970, he had to settle a fair housing discrimination law because right. he didn't want black people in his building. That's right. His history of <laughs> racism is very well documented. But I felt that because I 
somehow didn't know him that well. And I had so many people sort of normalizing this behavior. Right. So many people saying, well, this is just locker room talk. Mm -hmm. This is just how he talks. He's trying to be relatable to his base. Well, if his base likes this type of, of biased and racist behavior, shame on them. Shame on them. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you, Wendy, though, because you said you knew President Trump beforehand, and I assume you have interviewed him multiple times. Yeah, he's been on the talk show four or six times. Yeah. Is this surprising? Yeah. Inclu yeah. Including mm -hmm. his, his wife has been on individually. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a makeup line of some sorts, and his children have been on individually without him. Yeah. Is it surprising? <clears throat> yes. I didn't know that he had lost his mi mind. I didn't, well, there's I didn't, a little dementia in there. But too. after dementia. Bertha, Wendy, after Central Park Five, after all Mexicans are rapists but when, and criminals, if, if, this if is you gave him, that, But if you gave him a, a, a time to get through it, lots of people did. But, you know, if you are still seeing that this is the, the route you want the country to go yeah. in, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but the other thing about all of this was, you know, he he was supposed to go to London, you know, he was supposed to go, and, and uh, so he tweeted that he wasn't going uh. because he was angry about the deal that Obama made yeah. to move the embassy. Does no one talk to you? This Obama didn't do this. The embassy was moved during Bush. Mm -hmm. You got to just, you got to do a couple of more, you, before you start blaming Obama. Does he scare you yeah. that much? What is it? Stop with Obama <laughs> and Hillary. Well, can I no. say something really quickly, though, because there are politics involved in that. He's a, he's a total political animal at this point. He was being very President Trump. Oh. He was being very um, loving about immigration. Earlier on this week, we were talking about DACA on the show and how he was going to give the dream actors the bill to keep them in the state of the country. I, I think that this is politics going, trying to appease his base as well. I, I think know. he's trying to say. Uh, why would that appease his base? Why would that hateful language appeal to his so, base? Which hateful? <laughs> so, Plus, he can't go to London today because he's got a physical. <laughs> Not, it, it, he, he needs a mental, but he's oh. got a physical. Well, I have to I have to tell you so he denied this morning yeah. that he used the uh, but senator was P there <laughs> yeah. so said he used he, the P word he, you definitely he, Durbin says he most certainly did yeah. say it. So. And he was, Dick Durbin, the senator, was yeah. in the room. I happen I think to be encouraged by the fact that he loves Norway. Maybe he'll move there. <laughs> What a day to be a Republican on this show, guys. <laughs> yeah, but you're not a Trump Republican. He's not a Republican, yeah. He's okay. not, he's not no. Ice, yeah. He's what he is. Whatever yeah. that is. We'll be back.